coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, 17th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium Imminent. Comp Air 6.2 to be displayed at AirVenture 2023. Flight to end polio readies to leave Australia. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. 17th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium Imminent Representatives of more than 40 of the world's leading electric aircraft developers will contribute their expertise and insight to the 17th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium. Hosted by the Vertical Flight Society, the event will be held in Oshkosh, Wisconsin on July 22nd and 23rd, the weekend prior to AirVenture 2023, where ANN's crew is already hard at work at our on-site HQ building. Organized by industry and government stakeholders in the electric aircraft and advanced air mobility sectors, the Electric Aircraft Symposium is the world's longest-running electric aviation technology conference. 2023's iteration of the Electric Aircraft Symposium will feature a discussion of the U.S. government's federal AAM Interagency Working Group. 22 federal bureaucrats from the federal AAM Interagency Working Group are to be there for the purposes of supporting the integration of AAM vehicles into the national airspace. The group is further tasked with ensuring the U.S. remains at the global aerospace industry's forefront. All told, 2023's EAS will see experts from across the electric aircraft and AAM industries participate in a total of 12 in-depth moderated panel discussions germane to topics the likes of community integration, electric aircraft development, personal and private AAM aircraft, propulsion including hydrogen electric, regional air mobility, and the development of standards for the vetting and certification of electric AAM aircraft. And coming up after the break, Vertigo Aero and SMA announce SR-305 VDG engine. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Vertigo Aero and SMA announce SR-305 VDG engine. Founded in 2017 by Eric Barch, Pat Anderson, and Eric Lindbergh, grandson of Charles Lindbergh, for a purpose of accelerating the electrification of flight, Vertigo sets out to combine conventional propulsion architectures with next-generation electric technologies. Vertigo has been about the business of developing the VH3 power plant, an efficient means by which to convert the chemical energy of liquid fuels, like Jet A, JP8, SAF, and E-fuels, into electricity. The hybrid electric power plant comprises a reciprocating aero engine, power electronics, control system, and thermal management systems, the integration of which occasions highly efficient, long-duration energy output. Vertigo and SMA have proudly unveiled the SMA SR305 VDG engine. Nova C Lunar Lander passes complete spacecraft test run. Intuitive Machines announced it had successfully conducted a test run of its Nova C Lunar Lander. The undertaking occasioned a significant technical achievement and evinced the company's progress toward the completion of its Lunar Lander. The complete spacecraft test run verified the Nova C Lander's flight software, avionics, liquid oxygen and liquid methane loading, high pressure helium system performance, propulsion system functionality, and culminated in a hot firing of the lander's main engine. Delta discloses order for 12 A220 aircraft. 
U.S. legacy air carrier Delta Airlines has disclosed an order for 12 additional Airbus A220-300 narrow-body jets, thereby bringing the airline's total firm A220 orders to 131 aircraft. All told, Delta's order book comprises 45 A220-100 and 86 A220-300 five-abreast single-aisle airliners. Currently, Delta is the world's largest operator of A220 family aircraft. Airbus Vice President of Fleet Kristen Boyko stated, quote, the A220-300 offers efficient performance and flexibility. The continuing expansion of Delta's A220 family is an integral investment in the future of sustainable aviation." End quote. AvFlight adds 25th FBO AvFlight announced that it had acquired Flight Level Aviation's FBO operation on Holland, Michigan's West Michigan Regional Airport. The acquisition occasions the 25th addition to AvFlight's global FBO network and the company's 8th facility in its home state of Michigan. AvFlight Vice President of Operations Joe Mazzaro stepped forth, quote, AvFlight Holland is a wonderful addition to our FBO network, adding yet another key Michigan tourism destination to our portfolio, end quote. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Compair 6.2 to be displayed at AirVenture 2023. Compair Aviation will bring its slick and capable Compair 6.2 to EAA's AirVenture 2023. The aircraft will be featured at Booth 315 on the AirVenture grounds. A great deal of progress has been made on the Compair 6.2 since it debuted as little more than a fuselage in 2022. The display aircraft slated to appear at AirVenture 2023 is powered by a 350-horsepower twin-turbo Lycoming engine made it to a Hartzell composite top prop. The Compair 6.2's formidable powertrain and 100-gallon fuel capacity will move the aircraft's 2,000-pound useful load 840 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 175 knots. What's more, the Compair 6.2 has a 22-cubic-foot baggage compartment. Aircraft enthusiasts looking for even more power, performance, and payload will rejoice in the knowledge that a 650-horsepower turbine power plant option is available for the Compair 6.2. The turbine mill increases the machine's useful load to over 3,500 pounds and cruise speed to a crisp 230 knots. Part of that aircraft is expected to be on display as well. The Compair 6.2 was designed to carry passengers or cargo with maximum efficiency. The aircraft's lightweight and aerodynamic airframe, constructed of laminated carbon fiber, reduces drag and increases fuel efficiency while providing a strong yet lightweight structure for maximum performance. ANN's flight test is forthcoming. Coming up after these messages, Flight 2 and Polio readies to leave Australia. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Flight to end polio readies to leave Australia. Two Iowa pilots are currently circumnavigating the globe in a Cessna 210 Centurion for purpose of raising money to eradicate polio. Peter Tehan, a Cedar Rapids Funeral Home Director, and John Ockenfels, the retired CEO of an Iowa City recycling concern, departed Cedar Rapids Eastern Iowa Airport on May 5, 2023, and have since made stops in New Hampshire, Canada, Iceland, Scotland, Denmark, Germany, Belgium, France, Portugal, Netherlands, Greece, Jordan, UAE, Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Indonesia. On July 14th, the pair landed at Queensland, Australia's Brisbane Airport, thereby marking the halfway-ish point of their three-month, 25,000-plus mile odyssey. Tehan and Ockenfels jointly purchased November 732 Whiskey Pampa, a 1977 Cessna 210M Centurion. The plane is retrofitted with auxiliary wingtip and aft ventral fuel tanks, by which its endurance is extended to approximately 19 hours. 
After landing in Brisbane, Tehan and Nockenfels visited a memorial to Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, an Australian aviation pioneer who in 1928 piloted a Fokker V7 3M monoplane dubbed Southern Cross from Oakland, California to Brisbane, Australia, thereby earning the distinction of being the first man to make a trans-Pacific flight. The three-leg, 6,245 nautical mile, 82-hour flight made a hero of Kingsford Smith and landed his face on the Australian $20 note for several decades. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.